Hey guys, how's it going? Cassie Rasley. Ah! Sorry, we are kind of wobbly today. Let's see. Hopefully, my whole head is in the picture. How's it going, you guys? What is going on? Um, my name's Cassie Rasley. Tap my face and click follow if you're not already following me or if you're watching me on my business page. Make sure that you tap my face and follow. Um, you're following my business page so that you can see all of my videos after going forward. Um, today we're gonna talk about, oh, Victoria, thank you. Um, my number one secret for looking younger, okay? Think about growing up like from the age 15 to 65. What on your body, what feature does not change ever? Hi guys, Tina. Hi Andre Andrea. I keep wanting to say Andrea. When you pop on, make sure you say hi guys and tell me where you're watching from. Anyways, your eyes, right? Your eyes never change. So with makeup, you want to do whatever you can to draw your face to your eyes. And so it's not looking at like your wrinkles on your forehead or your sagging chin. Your eyes, you want to draw everything you can to your eyes. And one of the biggest ways to do that is with your brows, okay? So I'm going to, um, I have a bundle for you guys today. Hey, Rye. Um, and the action word, if you want information for the bundle, is brows, okay? Um, it's, uh, the whole bundle ends up being 30% off, but I'll, we'll talk about the bundle all the way through. But first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do your brows so that it focuses on your eyes, okay? And the first thing I have in my bundle is the Brow Obsession Palette, okay? Make sure um, you share this video if you think that you have friends that might, this might be helpful for them. Okay, our Brow Obsession Palette is like paint by numbers easy. Okay, it's got one, two, three, four, five. It literally has numbers on it, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys, we're first gonna start with one and we're gonna use this tool. This tool right here also comes in the bundle to get you the Brow Obsession Palette in your color and then you also get this tool, okay? Um, this tool has a angled end and a straight end, okay? So I'm gonna start with the angled end and the, the light, number one, was where we're gonna start, okay? And I'm using the blonde palette, but I can get away with the blonde or the brunette, okay? It's got a mirror here that's really nice too. So we're using one, the light color first, and I'm gonna draw a line. Let me show you first how to measure where to start. So you're gonna take your tool, you're gonna to lay it right next to your nose, and you're gonna stand it straight up and that is where your eyebrow needs to start okay based like that is what they say is the perfect shape of your eyebrow based on your face shape so I'm gonna start right about there and I'm just gonna kind of draw a line all the way up now you guys I am still like never <laughs> great with my brows um, the best I think the best way to make sure that your brows are always good is to always have them shaped good um, so, and if you can't figure out how to shape them yourself, always going to get them professionally done is a great idea too. But this is also the ways I'm, what I'm going to show you is how to shape them as well. So you want to draw a line underneath the brow going all the way up. And it's okay if you mess up because we have a cleaner for that too in this palette. Okay, so see how that right there, look at the difference between this side versus this side. This side immediately is lifted up and doesn't look like kind of old. This side kind of looks draggy and old, right? So see the difference? Okay, so I'm gonna take number one again, and I'm gonna do the top. Hi, Holly. But I'm gonna kind of start like right here. I don't wanna, I want this portion of my brows to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna kind of go a little ways in and then do another line on the top. We're still using number one. Again, the action root for today is brows, if you want more information on my palette, on my bundle that I have. Okay, and then I'm gonna kinda just fill it in. Just like that, okay? And then, needs a little bit more filling. My brows are like super light. 
And so the one thing I like to do is to dye my brows because it helps filling them, the filling in process way easier. Okay, so that is number one, okay? So now we're gonna go to number two and it literally has the numbers right here, okay? So I'm gonna take number two, which is the darker part, and I'm gonna do the tail. I like the tail to be darker because it helps it to look sharper. Okay, and then put a little bit more on there. Give me some hearts if you struggle with brows. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of fill it in. Oh, okay, so for where your brow should end, okay? A lot of times you're like, how far do I take the brow down? You're gonna take your tool, just like we did this way, and you're gonna take it here. From the edge of your nose to your eye, and then where the, um, that goes, ends, is where the tail will end. Just like that, okay? So I'm gonna just, let's see. Brows are not easy. And tell me, actually me and my husband were talking about this last night. I forgot, we were talking about microblading. If you got, if you had your brows microbladed in the past, what did you pay for it? I was telling him I thought it was like two or $300 and he says, for a tattoo? So I'm not sure. So tell me if you've had your brows microbladed, tell me. And you can see right there, let's see, right there, I went down just a little bit too far, but we will clean that up. I will show you how to clean that up. Um, and then for your arch, what you can do, and this is more so for plucking, but you're gonna take it along the side of your nose again and look forward, straight through your pupil, and then where, where that ends is where your arch should typically be. 350, yeah. That's what I thought, and he thought that was just absolutely crazy because for a tattoo, but it's more than just a tattoo, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go back to, we're gonna do this side, so we're gonna go back to number one. Um, I'm just gonna kinda take that dark color off real quick. So back to number one and do the same process over again. I showed you where to start to make sure you started. And I kinda like to take it all the way up a little bit to kind of look right there, see where that ends, to kind of show me where to start the arch at. But like I said, I already have my brows pre-plucked, so it's easier for me to know. Okay, so we're gonna go back in with number one, the light color, and draw a line at the top. Hi Paige. Thanks for sharing, you guys. Okay, so see that? Now we'll go in, let's see, because it's not a permanent tattoo, it's only done through the first layer of your skin, making it less. I cannot press the see more button. It's just giving me the option to like, like your comments. I don't know what's going on. We're having technical difficulties today. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do the dark side. Okay, we'll take the dark one and then just do the tail of the brow. And it really is just like tons of practice with your brows. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of swipe that away right there. Okay, and then I feel like this needs to be filled in just a little bit better. Can you guys hear my dog barking? He is like the nicest dog ever, but if anybody he doesn't know comes around. Ooh, he's mean. He's an Alaskan Malamute. Okay, so now I'm going to take and just wipe what's left off of this brush because I want to go back into the number one and just finish up the front of my brows. Um, I like the front of my brows to be just a little bit lighter than the rest. And I just kind of take that brush and push up like that. Okay. But I like the light. I use the light powder for this. You could even not even dip into any more powder and just kind of use the product that we drew the line with right there. Okay. So just like that. And see, I wish I, I had a, like a side by side so that you could see the difference between when I first hopped on here and now, because brows really do make a difference. I was actually 
looking at some pictures on Facebook and I was noticing that girls that didn't have their brows done, they it really does age them, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go, we did one, two, and this is number three, okay? This is like a pink, a pinkish color. And you can use this for a couple of different things. The first thing you could use it for as a base for your eyeshadow to cancel out all the veins so it's all one color, okay? But I already have my eyeshadow on today. The next thing that you can use it for is to clean up your brows, like I said before. So I'm gonna take the straight end of this and I'm just gonna dip it in, just, just like this, maybe on both sides. And I'm gonna clean up that line that I took down a little bit too far right here. And even to sharpen everything up, you can take it above your brows and just give it like that nice, sharp, just plucked look, okay? Just like that, and it just sharpens everything up. Or like if you had like shaky hands, like I do when I first come on here, I'm always like the biggest baby in the world and I get shaky and nervous. So my hands are shaky at first. And so it cleans it up just like that. Okay. Okay. And then this one is a shimmer highlight. Okay. So you can take again the flat edge and you are want to highlight the brow bone right here. This is going to help your brows again to look more lifted. Okay, um, and if you have hooded eyes like me, you wanna make sure that you keep this right up close to your eyebrow. If you take it down too far, it's gonna help that hood. It's gonna make that hood look too over, like too big, big, okay? You can also take it and highlight your inner corner. You can use basically, this This is a basically just a highlighter for anything. Okay, the tip of your nose, right here. Any of this is just a pretty highlighter. I like to get a lot of highlighter right in there. I have really dark, like not necessarily bags, but inner corners. So that, that highlighter helps to hide that. Okay, so those are, no, and then the wax. Okay, the wax is the last, last step, number five, okay? And some of you that have more brows um, won't need to use this wax as much. I don't use it like a whole lot, but is what it's gonna help you do is it's gonna help those eyebrows to stay in place. I kinda like to brush the front of my eyebrows so they're sticking up right in the front and this will help it to stay up. Hi Jay! Um, and then also you can just take it if you have like unruly brows the wax is going to help it to stay flat. Okay? Okay. So we got our brow palette and our tool. Okay? The next part of the bundle is um, a pencil eyeliner. Hi, Kel. Um, I have a few of them. I know a lot of you, when you get this bundle, are going to want to go to the black. And the black is great. It's wonderful. But, uh, like, different colors are so fun. So you could use the white um, underneath your eyes to help them look more open. Even the white eyeliner is pretty for anything. If you are doing like special makeup looks, but see how that just kind of opened up my eyes right there. Okay. And I have hooded eyes, so I don't typically, <laughs> does my face hurt? Why Kelly? <laughs> um, black, I like to do, so I have hooded eyes, so I don't typically like to put eyeliner um, on the top, on my right here because it makes my hood look bigger. Um, 
or it hides my lid more. But if I tight line, whoops, being that beautiful, I thought you were going to say because it's killing me. <laughs> You're so sweet. But anyways, tight lining is going to, if I could ever do it without pulling out my contact, it's going to help your, bra your eyes to look bigger. It's going to help that lash line to look thicker without taking away your lid space, okay? See how that alone, look at how much that just kind of brought out, how much that did for my eyes right there, okay? But with this bundle, you just get the one. You need to pick one, okay? I have a brown. Brown is great for like blondie blondes, and you don't want like your eyeliner to be super harsh. Um, this, I really love this. This is a gold. Um, or, the, and actually the brown is really pretty as a lip liner too. Or I have this, this is purposeful. This would be really pretty for a cool eye look and it's also really pretty as, an eye, as a lip liner, okay? Okay, so that is the next part of the bundle is the eyeliner. Um, and I challenge you to get something besides black because I think you could have some real fun with it. Um, on my lips is casual, the lip powder. It's like my favorite, I love it. Okay, and then the last part of the bundle is my favorite, our Epic Mascara. And we just came out with two new Epic Mascaras, okay? So the black is the one that you guys always see me use that is amazing, amazing, amazing. But we also now have a waterproof black that if you have, you know, if you have a hard time with your mascara stain on, the waterproof is gonna be for you. And this is amazing with the 3D Fiber Mascara. So if you have the 3D Fiber Mascara, it's all amazing with it, but something about this, it's a little bit of a wetter formula, is amazing. Or we have the brown, which I'm loving to use below my eyelashes. So let me hurry and throw this on. I'm gonna put the black um, mascara above, and then I'll do the brown below. Um, as a reminder, if you are interested in this bundle, the action word is brows. So just put brows in the comments and I will message you the info about this. Obviously, no pressure or anything. It, I'm just giving you the information. And um, thank you guys that shared this video. If you feel like you have friends that need that tip to looking younger, share this to them. And so what I'm doing with the mascara, I have the hardest time not getting my mascara on my eyelids. So... One of the tips that I have learned, if I'm not live, do you guys know what I do a lot of the time, is I do my mascara first. Doesn't that seem crazy, but I do. Because I'm so sloppy with my mascara. I feel like the sloppier I am, the more I get it all over my lids, the better it looks. Anyways, so looking down helps so those eyelashes stay away from your lids. And I like to get the front, ugh. I like to get the front of them nice and good. And then right before it dries, hurry and get a coat on the back. I also, do you guys ever open like a brand new mascara wand and it's too wet, the formula's too wet? Throw me some hearts if you, if you don't necessarily like a brand new mascara because it's too wet. Because I sure do. I like a mascara that's like a week old. I have a trick for this. So is what you're going to do. This is, a, this is a newer mascara. Um, and so if it's too wet, I keep my old mascara. And after I'm just about done because the new mascara it like sometimes it will clump too much I take my drier mascara my old one and I go in with it and I just kind of take off that excess mascara so I basically use for like the first two or three weeks of a new mascara tube I use two tubes I use the new one and the old one see I can't I cannot help it you guys So 
So this bundle comes with the your choice of Epic Mascara, your brand, you can do the, the waterproof, black, the regular black, or the brown, your choice of eyeliner, brow, the Brow Obsession palette in your color, and um, lastly is the, the tool to put the brows on. You can either do um, the brush that I showed you, this one, or it has one that has this end right here and then a spoolie on the other end. It's one of our newer brushes. And so I'm excited to get that because that spoolie is really nice to be able to run through your brows or even to, I don't know if you guys have seen some of my earlier videos, well, just from maybe like a month ago. I tried putting um, setting powder on my lashes before I did my mascara and it looked amazing. And so, but you need a clean, you need a clean spoolie for that. Okay, we're just about done here. And so I don't know about you guys, but I think, hi Aston. Oh, thanks girl. Um, but I think maybe when you have blonder hair or paler skin, at least that's the way I feel because when I'm tanner, it doesn't bother me as much. But when I put black mascara underneath, it just sometimes feels and looks too harsh. So that's why I'm loving the brown mascara. And actually, I accidentally used the brown mascara for all of my mascara yesterday. And I really could not tell much of a difference. It's fun to have a little bit of a change. So if you do get mascara, see that right there? Yes, Aston, it's a new, um, I used Hesitant in my crease. Not in my crease, but as a transition color. And then, let me get the other color for you. It's like the darkest one that I used on my lid. But so if you do get, see that mascara right there? If you do get that, let it dry. And it should just pick easily away when it dries because I got some there I got some there I got some there I get it everywhere so it's a good thing the camera is the video keeps you guys far away because up close it's a hot mess <laughs> okay so let's see let me show you this is the other thing that a spoolie is good for is for wiping this away so this is if some of you guys don't know I forget not everybody knows everything like makeup like I do so this is a spoolie Okay, the one on this brush will likely be bigger. Hi, Jacqueline. Um, so, spoolie, you take it and just dab it away and then take your beauty blender, which I'm pretty sure Bo took because I saw it in his mouth not too long ago. Oh, here it is on the ground. This has a little bit of makeup left on it from when I did it earlier so just kind of patting it away like this and then same thing up here it's kind of harder with your mess with your shadow because it wants to take it away but you can take the, the brush that you used and just kind of go over it Sarah do you do you use dry shampoo I know it's random but you always have this oh Sarah thank you that means so much. I do use I do use dry shampoo. I use Baltiste. Is that how you say it? It's just like the stuff that's at the um, the grocery store. And I actually bought it on. Um, thanks, Linda. I bought like a three pack on Amazon for so cheap. So look on Amazon too. Um, and you know, a good tip for um, dry shampoo is use it your first day. You think of dry shampoo to use it after your hair gets dirty, but use it your first and second day and you'll have better hair days first and second day. Okay, you guys, um, that's it. Um, those of you that came in halfway through, um, we, we talked about the eyes. Your eyes never change. From the age that you're 15 or 65, looking straight into your eyes, they never change. And so 
my tip is to get your brows and your lashes so that people are focusing right in on your eyes and it makes you look younger because they're not looking at those um, wrinkles or that saggy chin they're looking at your eyes so I have um, a special bundle for you guys it's the brow obsession palette the tool to put it on an epic mascara and your choice of pencil eyeliner okay all in a bundle for 30% off the um, the action word for tonight is brows so put it down in the comment if you'd like some more information on it and I will gladly message everybody later on tonight when I'm just hanging out with the kids. Um, Angela, I use... Ah! Sorry, you guys. I use that one too. It's amazing. Yes, for sure. And it's not expensive. That's like a big for me, not being expensive. So I use... I've heard that. I've also heard to use it at night. Oh, I've never heard that before. I'll have to try that. Phone's going to die. Oh, thanks, Paige. See you later, hon. Hello from Chastity, where are you at? Oh, Kentucky. <laughs> I was like, MY. Do I need to go back to school and remember what that's an abbreviation for? Okay, you guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, if you're not following me or if you're watching me on my business page, make sure you click my nose and click follow so you can see um, my tips and tricks and videos when I do them later. Mwah! I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. My kids are literally downstairs killing themselves, each other. I don't know if you can hear, but they are screaming so loud. Okay, guys, have a good day.